Music and Voice Lessons Are you skilled with a musical instrument, or do you have golden pipes? Do you love teaching as well? Sharing those skills with others can help foster a love of the arts. You can either set up a studio at your home or travel to your clients' homes, depending on what works best for your situation. The flexibility means the possibilities here are endless. You can market yourself to local schools or community theaters where parents are looking to get their kids' music or voice lessons. A good teacher quickly gets word-of-mouth referrals for new business, which helps reduce the amount of marketing that you need to do. Tutoring If you're a master of a particular subject, you can help students struggling in their classes by becoming a tutor. No certification is required to become a tutor, but you should be an ace in the topic. Usually, a tutor has a college degree in the subject they are tutoring. You can teach in person or online to expand your target market. You may want to invest in some teaching aid tools, such as Canvas or Blackboard. These will help you interact more effectively with online students. You can market yourself or join a tutoring platform, such as BuffTutor, that brings clients to you. Bookkeeper if you're someone who is great with numbers and pays attention to the little details, starting a bookkeeping business might be a viable idea. Bookkeepers sell their services to small businesses that need help managing the books, preparing payroll, and gathering data for taxes. You would need to be very well organized and understand the inherent liabilities that can come with handling someone's finances. Make sure you form an LLC if you choose this route. While you don't need specific credentials to become a bookkeeper, getting something, such as the QuickBooks Bookkeeping Certification, will not only teach you a lot but will also give potential clients confidence in your ability. However, it might cost you as much as $450 to obtain the certification. Pet Care Services A dog walking business is an excellent opportunity for someone who loves dogs and is good with other people's dogs. You get out every day and enjoy fresh air with grateful pups. This business requires you to go to people's homes to let their dogs out to play or go for a walk. You don't need any special credentials to be a dog walker, and since you'll be using your clients' leashes, you don't need to invest in much. Primarily, you should purchase items such as dog treats and waste bags so that you are prepared for any situation. If you live in a rural area where clients are spread out, you could pursue the option of offering more generalized pet sitting services for those who are on vacations or business trips. The income for this type of service may be less consistent, but it's an excellent fit for someone with experience handling different types of animals. Many small critters, such as birds, reptiles, and fish, require very detailed care that their owners don't trust just anyone to handle. If you can build a reputation for taking good care of these pets, winning new clients will come with ease. Subscription box service. Subscription boxes are a hot trend right now. There are subscriptions for anything and everything, including vitamins and contraception. If you have an idea for a subscription box, you could have the next hot trend. You'll want to establish a website where customers buy your box. At the end of the month, you send each customer a curated box of goodies. While you can often purchase these items based on the demand, you may need to carry some inventory of certain products. It will all depend on your subscription box. Dropshipping website A dropshipping website promotes products that it doesn't keep in stock. Instead, it has a deal with a distributor who will take your orders and mail them to your customers on your behalf. This eliminates the cost of having inventory and expands the number of products that a business owner can market and sell. To start a dropshipping business, you'll need to find relationships with dropshippers. There are big companies that have thousands of products, such as Oberlo and Alibaba, that do this. You'll also need to create a website that features the products. Getting started may cost you $500 to $1,000 if you need help setting up a website. Dog grooming Dogs' coats need regular care, and dog grooming is a service that is in high demand. Washing dogs, trimming their nails and clipping their fur must be done as often as every four to six weeks for some breeds. While you can do this in a client's home, most groomers have either a retail location or a mobile pet salon where they have all their supplies and tools. 
To have a complete setup, a mobile pet grooming van may cost anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000. If you'd prefer clients bring their pups to you, converting a shed into a grooming salon may be a more convenient option. Copywriter Just about every business has an online presence, most with some sort of blog or distributed content. This content needs to be written, and most business owners don't have the time to do this themselves. They hire a professional writer. If you have a passion for certain topics and ability to do deep research and are a good writer, this can be a profitable business for you. There are no startup costs other than having a computer with a good internet connection. Many writers market their services on LinkedIn or in business social media groups. You can also reach out to the marketing director of businesses to offer your services. Copy Editor With hundreds of blogs and content streams starting every day, there's a huge demand for reliable editors who can ensure high-quality content goes live. If you have an eye for grammar and punctuation, you might consider becoming an editor who reads and helps improve content. And you don't have to be limited to blogs or social media, you can edit books and print articles as well. Make sure that you are a grammar stickler and that you know the differences between AP and Chicago-style writing. You'll want to invest in these manuals so that you can help your clients meet the right style guides. Other than that, you only need your computer to start this business. You'll market yourself in online groups and may choose to invest in building a website to help promote your new business. Wedding or Events Planner If you'd love to help make a special day as memorable as possible, the events business is very rewarding. Those who organize these events should have strong networking skills, pay close attention to details, and be highly organized. It helps to have a creative edge that enables you to come up with new and exciting ideas for your clients. If you want to focus on weddings, be prepared to help with all aspects of the wedding, from the decorations and venue to entertainment and food. While you don't need any licensing or credentials to do this, you want to have a Rolodex of professionals who can fill certain roles at the event. Photographer or Videographer This is a great business for a creative person with an eye for composition. You can be a generalist or niche down as a wedding videographer or family photo session provider. You don't need any specialized certifications to start a photography business or start producing videos. However, you do need a high-quality camera and may also want to invest in lighting accessories. To start a videography business, you'll need a good digital video camera, lights, microphones, and bounce boards to help you get the best quality footage. You should also launch a website that shows potential clients your portfolio of work. Home Cleaning A home cleaning service business is an excellent idea for detail-oriented people who want to be solopreneurs or who want to grow to have a team. As a home cleaner, you go to people's homes and clean the kitchen, bathrooms, and all other rooms. You'll dust, mop and vacuum rooms and make sure that sinks, toilets, and tubs are clean. You don't need to be licensed to be a home cleaner, but it's a good idea to get bonded and insured. This gives clients confidence that you are a professional. As far as investment goes, you will want to have your own cleaning tools and supplies so that you don't rely on clients to provide them, though some will. Personal Trainer A personal trainer helps people meet their fitness goals. As a trainer, you are part workout expert and part motivational expert. You help develop workout plans to help people either lose weight, build muscle, or meet other fitness goals. Certification is required if you plan to work at a gym and will also help you build your credentials to get new clients. A certification might cost you anywhere from $500 to $1,000. Many fitness trainers also have degrees in kinesiology from a university, but this is not required. Sewing and Alterations If you're talented with a needle and thread, you could have a business sewing and making alterations for others who don't have the skill or the tools to do it. While you may be busy with alterations, the real money is in custom jobs for dresses and costumes. If you live near a thriving Renaissance fair or convention center, you can expect to find plenty of potential customers dressing up for events at these locations. You don't need any certification to become a seamstress or a tailor. You will need to invest in a good sewing machine and get materials and supplies that you use when working for clients.
Advertising your services on call or even setting up emergency booths at costumed events can bring you new clientele from those in a bind. Virtual Assistant More business executives are turning to virtual assistants, VAs, to help them with certain business tasks. This saves the business money because they don't need another full-time employee with benefits while still getting the work done. As a VA, you will do certain tasks, such as managing social media, coordinating travel and maintaining the calendar. There is no prerequisite to becoming a VA. You just need to be good with people and have keen organizational skills. You'll want a computer with a fast internet connection to service your clients.